Hi, Crossy Angels, Vanessa. <clears throat> Vanessa here from Angel Rose Designs, the Angel on YouTube. And today, I'm here to show you how to rejuvenate your Inca Gold and your Deco Art um, waxes. Now, they are water based, so I learned this technique from Happy Crafty Days, I believe her name is. Happy day, happy day crafts. So I have some Inca, Inca gold and deco art um, waxes that I had got from Miss Teresa Brady a while ago, and I also have um, craft smart ones too. Okay, now this technique will work on all three of these. I've tried it, and here's how the Inca Gold looks. And this is all, I'm letting it sit a little bit. I have these three sitting, and I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm going to take this back to the way it was when Miss Teresa first bought them. Okay, you know how they're all creamy? See this one how dry? Okay, so I'm going to do these three because I'm going to let them sit a little bit. Okay. First, I'm going to take some water and kind of put enough, but three squirts, and then a squirt of Sculpey, right in the middle. Three drops, okay. Recap them. This one goes here, oh, this one goes on this one. Okay, so I'm going to let them sit. Okay. Shake them. Get it all around in there. So I have these three that all are already ready to go. I got Craft Smart, I got Deco Art, I got Inca Gold. Okay, so this one's been sitting for a bit, and all I did was take a bone folder that I no longer use, you can see my hands, and just go around in, like so, break it up, if it's not broken, if it's not soft enough, add a little bit more water. And let it sit a little bit longer. Okay. I'm going to let that one sit. I'm going to try this one. Wipe off your tool. Now you can use a palette knife, a fork, a spoon, or whatever. This one still is soft. Whoop. And make sure you have some baby wipes with you. Because this does get a bit messy. But I wanted to show you guys what I learned. Okay. So this one's not quite where I want it to be. A little bit more water. I made this uh, squirt of Sculpey. I'm going to do that to the other one also. See how it's starting to melt? Three drops in there. Put that to the side. Let me get a new wipe. And I'm going to cover these back. And this one goes here. Whoops. 
You got a piece hanging out there, buddy. Wrap these back up. Shake them about. Put them to the side. Now I have this one that I've already started doing. Now you want to get all the previous color off. So I'm going to use a wipey to get all the previous color off of whatever tool you're using. Then you go in and just keep on mushing it until you get all the lumps out. And you can keep adding water. I'm not going to add any more Sculpey because I think I have enough in here. Okay. So I'm going to add a little bit of water. You see? I use my old, an old bone folder that I have because to me it gets in the little uh, crease down here better than anything can that I know of can. And you want to make sure you pick up all that excess uh, paste that's dried. Now from this point I could take a palette knife or a spoon to smush it but I want to keep working with my um, bone folder here and I see that one is a big chunk so whoops well now I gotta scrape that off my hand let me clean that And get that big chunk off of the bone folder. And just keep going. Add a little bit more water. Until you get it to the consistency you want it. And I will link. Um, Happy Day Crafts video down below. She did this in 2020 and she wasn't sure if it worked with um, any other uh, waxes so I decided to try it since I had the waxes and I was looking to rejuvenate them. Now, what I'm going to do, because I have a lot of product on here, is I'm going to take a nail file and scrape what I can up. And then I'm going to take my wipey and just wipe it off. And I'm going to get my palette knife now to finish it off so you start with this and you can end up with your palette knife because it'll get it a lot smoother And this you can scrape the bottom off a little bit easier and it comes clean. Now each time it they dry out, you can rejuvenate them the same way. See how it's getting that shine back in there? And each time I'm making sure I get in the little crease at the bottom. 
and then when I go to smush it, I make sure I get it in the crease so that way I can see if there's any lumps in there or not. Let's get around the side here because I want it all in the middle like so. This one is back to its old creamy self, y'all. So this one's done. I'm going to recap it. I'm going to check another one after I clean my hands off. So I'm going to get my bone folder back, clean it up. Okay. I'm going to get a new wipey before I bring out another jar of it. Clean off my nail file. Now there's a few of them that I have that are already done. So I'm going to check this one again. Whoops, wrong tool. See, this one's almost there. Uh oh, need a little more water. I'm going to make it a well in there. And let it sit, shake it all about. Let it sit. Oh, this one looks kind of juicy. Let me get my wipe. Clean off my tool. Oh, yeah. This one's ready. Oh, well, now. Make sure you put something down. I'm going to break it all up first before I put my palette knife in there. Okay. The way she does it is she pulls out all the chunks and puts it in a um, Ziploc baggie. Okay. This one's not all the way ready yet. So we're going to clean off our tool and let this one... Add a little bit more water, but we're getting it there. Put that one there. Check this one. Oh, nope, that one's not quite ready yet. I'm gonna add a little more sculpey in this one, right in the corners. And she says one of these little bottles here go a long way. So I'm going to screw this one back and shake it. Get the next one. Let's check it. Oh, this one's still hard like a brick. So we're going to weld this one up. And add a couple more drops of Sculpey. One. Two. Let her sit. Shake it. I'm wiping in between because I don't want to mix my colors. Let me wipe off my tools here. Oh, I see where I'm getting all the blue from. Okay, we're going to do one more. And then I'll take a, a before and after picture of some of them. Well, a before of this one and after is going to be that one. So let's check this one. Let's fold this up because there's too much on it. And we're going to open this one and check it. Ooh, this one's nice and creamy. 
So let's get this one up. All the chunks in the middle. And we're going to get our palette knife and start scrunching it. Let's get this side, get it all in there. Like so. And this one's ready to go. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more water. So now I want to have it all sit on the bottom. And you see all the chunks that's falling out? I'm going to pick that back up and put it back in. So I start off with my uh, bone folder and go with the power knife after. But this one's nice and all done. Okay, she's done. So, this one is ditted. We're going to have to clean them off after. Let's check this one. Oh, this one looks somewhat done. Or somewhat ready. We gotta add a little bit more water. And let her sit a little bit more. So that is it for today, ladies and gents. I'm going to say this. Please be kind, be blessed, be caring, be positive, be crafty, be blessed. Be caring, and I will see you all in the next video. And on the flip side, happy crafting on a budget, happy everything on a budget. And bye bye for now.